All right, guys, welcome back. So we're looking at QBTS D-Wave Quantum. So last time we talked about this one, it was somewhere around this $19 level where a lot of people probably were looking for further upside. And we talked about this one saying that, uh, and also IonQ as well, looks like May 23rd. So it's been a couple of weeks now. Uh, saying that the risk right there was not to the upside and I was saying that the risk is to the downside but it didn't go down as much it did consolidate for quite a bit and it's still in this range it's sort of a forming could be forming a flag as well again and possibly it will have its leg up uh, and I was talking about this one for members a lot too, like tweeting, even in the Discord we were, t I was uh, essentially pointing out, even on my tweets as well, saying that maybe 20 plus. So 20 plus, maybe, maybe, but uh, based on essentially uh, the flows that I'm looking at. So there's not much of a crazy flows in terms of like to the downside. I'm seeing some for August. So a little bit further time, like 1750 puts, people were buying. I don't know if these are protection, but one interesting call stood out was $19 call and $22 call that are for July expiration. So let's have a look at those calls and uh, what I'm watching from here for this stock. So this stock is not a cheap stock, okay? This is. 5.7 billion dollar company which doesn't make anything it doesn't sell anything just if you want to have a clue you can go through the stocks that are worth around this much or maybe a little bit more a little bit less wayfair i mean djt i don't agree with that valuation either so wayfair this is 45 dollars stock valued for 5.8 billion dollars same thing uh, CA, I mean, Credit Acceptance Bureau, this, this, these guys at $505 levels, market capitalization identical to the qubits. This is just to have an idea, okay? So what company's worth how much? Lyft, a lot of you have taken the right at $15. This company worth six and a half billion. And on the other hand, qubits, QBTS, a uh, blank check company essentially yeah they might have a, some display uh, computer that a lot of people <laughs> essentially paying that premium for but it's not about that okay so small caps i don't care about their uh, fundamentals as long as it has a momentum and the chart looks bullish flows look bullish and the volume is up if people are willing to pay the premium sure i will not be uh pretty much standing there and trying to short the i mean train that is coming at you at whatever the speed right so in this example this is not a clean stock that trades like clean to the upside you just go back at and look at the i mean last six seven months where it took off essentially from one dollar literally last uh, november to these levels of a 17, 18, 19, where we're sitting, um, it doesn't make it easy, but it has pretty trappy uh, behavior in terms of trading it. That's why I, I mean, last time I tried to trade it, break out right here, got shaken out multiple times on a daily with options. So I'm just staying on the sidelines. If it breaks out, I think it can go 20 plus. So maybe we can even go to 21, 22, 23. Or it can even break out can happen like choppy okay it may not run away due to its valuation again so it's just shorts messing up uh, again and again and at the same time like people who are noticing that the <laughs> short sellers are won't and they're hurt they're trying to buy these calls and try tra they're trying to squeeze those people so this stock has 300 million outstanding shares and 17% short float. And if we take a look at the daily shorts as well, I can see at least this is not 100% accurate data, but at least I have I can have a clue that, and even without looking at this data, I can just guess every single quantum computing stock out there that has gone up in the last year 
uh, 10x, 20x, they have a hard, high short interest. And there is a reason for it, right? They will go back down at some point in the future to like five, six, and maybe like they can go down 50%, 60%, 80%, 90% down in the next year or two. Okay, but ultra short term momentum is to the upside. So I'm watching this resistance of a uh, 19 the highest print nineteen dollars and seventy seven cents so I'm watching nineteen fifty essentially on a daily so if we get a daily close above nineteen I want to say even nineteen dollars if we get any close above nineteen dollars on a daily yeah it, it does look like it can push through this twenty dollar level so another thing I want to show what I wanted to show so flow we did take a look at it let's take a look at the large orders that came in before we wrap this one there are multiple times I have shared uh, it's doing this all right probably this tool that I'm using has a problem with it but I think I have shared it for you guys already that people who have been taking profit on every rally at these points so by selling pretty crazy uh, into this rally so just don't think that uh, it's gonna just keep going higher and it will act like your regular blue chip that will just stick in there and just hold the prices these stocks can't flush down any moment okay one day you go long and you wake up next morning and it could be down 30 40 even 50 percent overnight we have already seen it once or twice uh, when Nvidia CEO uh, uh, commented saying that uh, yeah the quantum is like 15 years ahead or something like that. These things can happen, okay? Especially with these stocks that have no absolutely no fundamentals. So this is something that I wanted to mention. But I am watching this stock bullish to the upside so far. I think the risk now as it sits at these highs. Uh, compared to where I was talking about right here that's saying that it's risk to the downside right here I feel like risk if it breaks out risk could be to the upside and uh, if you're trying to short it I mean you might get uh, you might get smoked given also that we have option expiration two weeks from now we have a, like a Fed rate decision um, in the following week we have also Juneteenth so the, that week when we're gonna have the Fed it will I mean usually those like last two weeks of the uh, like going into OPEX these small caps tend to go like bananas so that's why I would be careful if I'm trying to short stocks like this just go back take a look at even this stocks own uh, behavior like this is the OPEX this is the OPEX look what it does <laughs> first half of the OPEX like first two weeks and then second half same thing look at first half we're just kind of like going sideways we can just go back up going into that opex again so you can just go back and take a look at all of these times where it has done this kind of like first half tries to um, go sideways going into opex boom goes higher same thing can happen to the downside as well same right here when it trapped people and then after earnings going into the uh, second half of the OPEX and OPEX by I mean I'm monthly OPEX I'm talking about every third Friday of the month is your monthly OPEX so this is what we are talking about and look what it did so that's the pattern of this stock and it's just usually small cap stocks so if it does that I would be uh, looking for retracement after the option expiration but going into this uh, June 16th I'm not bearish small caps especially given where the IWM is sitting and what is it trying to do if you take a look at the IWM it might be like trying to form a reverse head and shoulder and just trying to break out it already broke out so if it rallies towards 200 day moving average and maybe a little bit more uh, small caps can catch a bit and it, it essentially anybody who is short those small caps they can get squeezed more they can get uh, screwed more like usually I mean 
trying to be short seller is not is not as easy as a lot of people try to make it look like you have to be super nimble if you are shorting it so that's my point this is not a financial recommendation this is not a buy or sell recommendation this is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only thanks for watching i will see you in the next update probably um, after this june 16th but up until then yeah i might be tweeting or i might be just commenting it here and there for the members just little um ideas or like what i'm thinking about certain stocks if i have any um if i'm looking at the chart because i have so much on my watch list so if i have a time i'll just throw it in here in the um, in the posts on youtube where it's just essentially just like a tweeting but just for the members so thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next update see you in the next one